Let's uh, hear more now from Cornelio Biola, who joins us from Oxford in the UK. He's an Associate Professor of uh, Diplomatic Studies at Oxford University. Welcome to TRT World today. Um, what do you think is really behind uh, President Putin's uh, sudden call for a, a ceasefire? Hello, thank, thank you very much for having me. What, will, what we are witnessing here, it's, I think it's a cynical smokescreen, um, exactly uh, that. Um, and we have to remember the context. Uh, Patriarch Kirill, Patriarch Kirill is a uh, fanatic supporter of President Putin. In 2012, uh, he actually said that Putin is uh, a miracle, the fact that he was elected, re-elected in 2012. He's a former KGB agent and a person of uh, significant uh, wealth. Uh, Fortune, uh, Forbes estimated his uh, worth about $4 billion in 2006. So why I'm saying this? I'm saying because Kirill does nothing, absolutely nothing, without getting instruction from Kremlin. So what we saw yesterday, it was a choreographed move mm -hmm. in which uh, Kirill apparently asked for a, a ceasefire and Kremlin, of course, obliged. But we also have to remember that uh, on the 21st of December, there was a mass massive uh, missile attack. Mm -hmm. uh, on the New Year's Eve, there was another uh, missile attack against Ukraine. So the idea that somehow a religious piety reached President Putin doesn't make a lot of sense. But it makes sense, and I think uh, President Biden mentioned that yesterday, is that he's trying uh, to speak to his domestic population to a certain extent, but also to mm -hmm. uh, grasp for, for oxygen. Uh, yeah. Military situation for, for uh, Russia is not particularly good at the time. So what I'm saying is it's a, it's a small screen intended for domestic uh, uh, audience just to, to look a little bit uh, better after the uh, casualties they suffered mm -hmm. a few days ago. And Cornelio, uh, fantastic uh, analysis there, but do you think the West should have reacted differently? Should Ukraine have reacted differently in, in what they said verbally? I think if Putin wanted, we have also to remember the uh, record of ceasefires by Russia, not only in Ukraine, in Syria, everywhere, is very poor. Nobody trusts Russia in terms of their war. When they say ceasefire, all the others remember what happened in Mariupol. There was another attempt to have a ceasefire and the people fleeing Mariupol were bombarded. The same happened a few years ago uh, in another conflict in Donbass. The same happened in Syria. So the West and Ukrainians know what ceasefire ceasefire in, in, uh, uh, for Russians mean. Mm -hmm. So they don't trust it. Uh, so that's the problem in terms of, of uh, trying to move forward with some sort of, of uh, armistice or some sort of ceasefire. Uh, there is little credibility mm -hmm. in the uh, intention. Cornelio, uh, just to quote you, as uh, you said uh, in, in your first uh, answer, you know, it's a myth to think that uh, religious piety has, has reached Putin. And, and given the fact that you've also said uh, you can't trust ceasefires from Russia, what do you think is going to happen in the next 36 hours then? Uh, uh, the war will continue. Uh, and I think the, the answer came yesterday from President Biden and from the European leaders. They announced the, the delivery of another or second battery of Patriots to um, uh, Ukraine. It's going to come from Germany. They're going to boost their military deliveries in terms of uh, armored uh, uh, vehicles and tanks. And I think that's the reason, because they don't trust Russia they want to make sure that Ukraine can withstand and are able to defend themselves, uh, not by, you know, empty promises made by Kremlin, but, you know, effective. And I think that's what we are going to assist in the next uh, few days, but also next uh, months. Uh, things are uh, hitting up. Uh, there is a uh, uh, one year anniversary of the conflict and uh, both sides wants to make a symbolic move by then. Cornelio, fantastic to speak to you. Uh, Cornelio Biola from uh, Oxford University. Thank you so much. Excellent analysis. Thank you for having me.